to start this uh, video out on a uh, negative note, but you know, I gotta say, it really fucking sucks when your mic, uh, you do a video and your mic isn't on. It's, uh, it's harshness. So, uh, this example I'm gonna go over is a, um, what, it's something I did, I, ha I was assigned a shot and it, it dealt with very heavy um, uh, collisions on a deforming mesh and that is very difficult that is really 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 slow and I'm like you know what I am not doing that so I wanted to figure out a way to avoid it and this this was the solution that I came up with so well, the basic idea is you scatter particles around um, your your mesh, and then you bring part, then you spawn like bullets at the gun, and then you bring the bullets to their positions. Um, so when it spawns, spawns a bullet, brings it, and then it triggers an impact. So your decal turns on uh, when it becomes within a closest close distance, like this one. You know, then it kills it, and then it or it spawns all the stuff and then kills the particle. So uh this so this is the uh overview um of what I so I scatter particles across positions and so this is the chest. So this is what I do here. You know, it's a basic surface node and you know they go up on that and uh so I just I spawn particles and uh, I don't know why I have this but I guess I do um, and then you have uh, you scatter them across you know their positions so you know this was another object uh, I gotta pick this up sorry team so here's the chest this is the important one this is the only one I'm dealing with so you born particles then you lock them to their surface position, so they're locked to the surface. And the important thing to keep it speedy is you cache it out. So when it's cached, it's written to disk, and it doesn't have to calculate the deforming um, geometry. So you just have basically arbitrary points. Um, so once that's done, oh, it's saving, come on. Once that's done, um, you have you spawn a bullet, and you set up the reference so the bullet can look at the impact origin. You can look at the parent, and you put the bullet at the gun, and this is the gun, and then you have the bullet motion, and then what that is is a simple bring to. You're bringing it to its parent's position, and then here's the impact spawning. So this one, this one's a bit heavy, but all what it really is is um, you get the parent's position, you get the current position, and what you do is you just do a dis it's basically a distance tens test from the child to the parent. And so when the child is close to the parent, it triggers you know a boolean on, and it um, then it kills it and it aligns it to the direction that it's traveling so the bullets are always looking like they're going to the tar uh, target because they don't go straight they kind of swerve but with this alignment you can keep them going in the right direction um, let's just do that just in case but I think with direction it just overrides the random because this shit's working and then back in here so this was this thing that triggered the impact, which is sparks, debris, smoke, fume, and then the impact decal. You know, so a lot of different things on impact, and it kind of makes it rich, and there's there's a lot of uh, texture to the effect. And yes, this is, I guess I did, I do, I reference a reference particle by this. So, um, I am basically building a reference between its grandparent I think I think that's I do do that in that system the reference particle yes I do need the reference particle um, to drive the the decal and the decal is just a object so 
Now once you spawn all off, you, s you spawn these, it's important to pass the, um, the surface normal of uh, the chest into the particles so they can travel out from um, the normal. So they can, they're not going one direction, they're going out from the body. And that's what I do here. Um, now I have two because I vary, vary the angle this way. You could probably set up with some like in group or uh, a one to x a switch statement. You can uh, you could probably set that up uh, that way. Um, so that's the direction of the uh, impact travels, and then so then you just have your basic. You know you got your debris, you have your smoke. You know, and then you just set up your behaviors for you know whatever it is you want to do so this impact uh, this decal has to get the origin position and it has to lock to it because where the bullet is spawned we want we want these things to stick to those exact positions so that's what this was a really heavy reference like this this addition to thinking particles is uh, it's pretty stellar the ability to have this um, it's pretty amazing you know blood um this was this was a bit of an experiment um of using distribution so it's not um when i when i spawn blood well i guess i got rid of it but or is the blood of matter waves here no it's not um but it used to be so what you what i did is on on the blood i i spawned you know in that noise pattern that you can do and then I kind of moved it over but uh, there ended up not being blood so it got dropped but that's what I was going to do I might expand in the uh, further tutorial on uh, how to do that um, uh, the bullets which I guess online oh yeah I'll align them there again which is useless but so then I can remove um, this alignment up here but back on track back on track oh wait no no that's the extra bullets you gotta keep that one there um, a death condition you know and just other stuff so I should definitely clean this up like what the hell is this you know what the hell is that gone hopefully that wasn't critical uh, extra bullets just flying on the side to complete the effect it's not really important for this so I'm going to remove that um, we don't need to know any of that. And so that was, that was the overview. And, uh, hopefully I got sound this time. You know? Peace!